So did people yeah. treat you differently or treat you negative because you were doing tarot? Uh, not to my face anymore. Um, around the time that I really started getting serious into tarot, I was just called away from a lot of a lot of things, a lot of people. So I had already the people that I feel would have the most to say about it are no longer a part of my journey for now where I'm at. Uh, it, and it's it's all good. It was just, I really got to the point where, kind of like how I was saying earlier, like conversations were happening and I'm just like, bruh, can we please talk about something else? And it just got to be like that all the time where just literally everybody would be where everybody was and then they'd just be me, like completely zoned out. And it's just like, why am I even here right now? Like what actually? Why am I here? So it got to the point where I just had, I started to like distance myself, just got called and then just different things in my life were happening. So I was a little bit more isolated, which has never really been an issue for me, um, which can get dangerous. <laughs> um, I, I don't, I don't mind my own company, but um, so yeah, I feel like everybody, I mean, and I think the people that are in my life still, uh, for example, like my parents will say, they they may have an issue with it, but they're not gonna say anything to me about it. Um, I mean, and maybe they will, but I am definitely the black sheep of the family. And so <laughs> I think they stop really uh, kind of, I don't wanna say paying attention to me, cause that's not true, but just kind of really, paying attention to what it is that I got going on um, because I just kind of always done my own thing I always questioned the church I always just wanted to know shit that they didn't have the answers to when I would question stuff and I would mm. get in trouble for asking the wrong questions that I'd be genuinely curious like how does this not make sense to you like I don't understand and it would be like I'm blasphemizing and in my as a kid I'm like I I'm not trying to bless. I don't even know what that means. I just know what <laughs> don't feel right and don't make sense. So why am I bad? And it was like throughout my whole just even now existence. It's always been like that. So a lot of the people that I think would say something or have something to say about it, they don't say it to my face. They don't. <laughs> they don't. They, they they won't. Like nobody takes it. I shouldn't say nobody, but. The people that take it seriously are the ones, I guess, that matter. I don't know. Mm -hmm. off, but the lady was talking about something along the lines of, I'm gonna say this and try to make it make sense. The Earth, have, uh, Earth having its own chart, or like based on your chart, your natal chart, there are specific places that you can go on Earth to help specific things manifest much easier so it's like yeah. if you're at this point in your life if you are on the map or if you live like in this longitude and latitude whatever the case may be your chances of whatever a b and c are are like 10 times higher in the uk than they are in dallas texas you know what i mean have you heard of that 
Yeah, that's true. What it's is like that it's like the ley lines that we oh, live man. on. Oh, they man. it's also like a projection of energy because depending on where you are born, the ley lines also predict how you will look. Like like the shape yeah. of my like the nose, because I'm an Aries, I have like a bent nose. Um my features are gonna form a certain way based on where you're born at. If you're Which born like sense. if you're born be- like in New York, you're probably gonna be taller, <laughs> slender, um, stuff like that. So all these energy points dictate how we act, how we look, and yeah. like you said, certain activation, like always knew that i was supposed to be in atlanta for some reason as a kid i was like i gotta go to atlanta i didn't know nothing about it and i kept trying to come here when i graduated high school i I was like yo i need to go to college in atlanta and my parents wouldn't let me go i was like either way i go i know i'm going to make it to atlanta somehow for because i'm supposed to go there for this activation and i didn't know nothing about tarot nothing back then i just knew i was supposed to come here and then once I got here, that's when all the activation started. Okay. I, yeah, that's interesting. I've always felt, I definitely have never felt called to here <laughs> where I am right now, but I'm stuck here. Well, actually, I'm only stuck here if I tell myself I'm stuck here, but in, at least in the 3D right now, as it reflects, mm-hmm. because I co-parent. So I've always felt called to the islands. Like I'm going to live like as a permanent where I'm going to live and die is going to be in the islands. Like that's going to be what it is. And I just can't wait to go (laughs) and live and settle. And it's going to be a while because my youngest daughter is six. So we're looking at some time, unless something <laughs> unforeseen happens, but I strongly don't feel that the activations that I'm harder, I feel as though it's 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 going to be harder. And I'm trying to be careful of the words that I speak over my life right now. So now I'm second guessing everything I say, but I just don't feel like I'm supposed to be here. We'll just say that. Yeah, that's how I was. It was like, I knew I wasn't supposed to be in St. Louis. It was... I just felt trapped. It didn't feel like nothing was moving, but at the same time, it was like I was scared to leave. And then everything happened to where I had to leave. It was like I was paralyzed. My job eliminated my position. I lost my house. And then so it's like I, I had to move to Tennessee to try to get disability and you know try to okay. get help. And then from Tennessee, I ended up moving to Georgia. So it's like, I didn't try to get here. It's like, I just went with the flow and it got me here and then it was like once i got here it's like my awareness changed it was Mm. like all the stuff that i used to suppress and didn't talk about i started talking about more because it was happening more you know i was having visions more things you gotta you gotta catch like uh when you were talking about road rage because i get like road rage (laughs) do you okay yeah so sometimes like i know to not do anything like sit stop and be calm because it's it's like a message for the calm so usually the message is slow down look out for something but it's i have to control myself like don't get mad what am i supposed to be looking at or what am i supposed to hear right now and then it usually Good. comes. I love that. Good. Yes. <laughs> yes. I do that a lot when I go to, like to a restaurant. And they mess my order up. The first thing in my mind, I'm ready to go off. And then I'm like, nah, let me calm down. 
How when they cooking your food though? Don't, don't let me say nothing. And usually if I stay calm, I'll get something free. You know what I'm saying? Something like that. <laughs> yeah, you just gotta put out what it is that you want, right? Well, yeah, it's annoying that the food did not like, especially if you're hungry you shit, right? And then something's messed up, like, but what you want to get back is what it is that you want. And it better come back better than what you expected, right? Because they messed it up. Yeah. So yeah, you put it out there. And then like you said, you get free stuff, or, you know, extra dessert, and <laughs> free drinks, and coupon, 20% off, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So that's cool. This period may bring ambition that encourages travel or is in some way related to travel or foreign interests. This could be a desire for money to take a business trip or to be used in some distant business deal. Caution is advised under Neptune's illusory influence. So be sure that all business communications and activities are clear. Also, you should question your own motives and desires, lest you, you fall prey to do deception along these lines. Cause that was kind of the reason why I suppressed a lot of things or info, um, how I view things. I would always get, what do you call it? I guess psychic thoughts. And I would always warn people about certain things, but I would like, always get treated negative for it. Premonition, you mean? Like a premonition? Yeah. I would get those all the time. And I would, it started off by me seeing people dying. It was always about death. I would see certain people uh, Damn. Bef before they die and how they die. Oh, that's too much information. So for, that that, was, that kind of messed me up because it was like I saw my best friend, like how he had died before he died. I saw yeah. pastor die exactly how he died before he died. And so I was like, damn, am I doing something wrong? Did I make it happen? Mm. And this was this was me as a kid damn. trying to figure this shit out. So I didn't really I just started getting into tarot in 2019. And that was based off my intuition telling me to do it. You just decided one day that this is what you wanted to try? I was just listening to myself. I always have like an inner dialogue where I'm just kind of like processing information. Mm -hmm. And it was like once I had separated from my ex and I was going going through so much. I'm like, damn, yeah. you know, like, what am I going to do? You know, like cause I was worried about how am I going to survive because I was having so many seizures at the time. Oh, and man. I didn't. And I didn't want to move back to St. Louis. Right. I was like, damn, where I'm going to live, what I'm going to do. Um, and it was just, I want to know information before I leave this body because I don't want to come back to this place. That was like my main, <laughs> that was my main dialogue in my head was like, I don't want to come back to this place. So I need to find out what's going on. And then that's when my inner self said, go to a psychic reader. And I was basically yeah. just having this conversation in my head. Like, I don't know a psychic reader. I don't know where to go. And it was like, I'm going to go whatever lays out in front of me. I'm just going to go with the flow. And then that's how everything it turned out. I went to a dating app. And then the person that I matched with was a tarot reader. So it was like, OK, this is how this works. I need to just listen to my intuition. Right. And that's yeah. how I, I got into start. And then, I'm, you know, I met my twin. And so it was just like, okay, this is, I'm going to just keep listening to my intuition. 